In this video I'm going to explain to you what to consider if you pack your Alula kite. Do you want your Alula kite to look like this? No, definitely not. So I'm going to explain to you what to do and how to pack your kite if you want to prevent your kite looking like this after several months. In my opinion, you need to make sure that you have as less as possible creases in your Alula material. So that means my most important advice is to fold your kite as careful as possible. So please do not roll your kite, fold your kite from both tips to the middle. Here you can see that I fold my kite step by step and I take care that I have as less as possible creases while I'm folding my kite. If you have an additional advice how to take care of your Olula kite, please leave a comment below. In general, we can say that an Alula kite demands a little bit more care than a Dacron kite. But in general, you have to take care of it in the same way. Keep it dry, keep it clean and protect it from too much sunlight. I hope this video was useful for you and you are inspired and motivated for your next session. If you want to show some love, leave a comment below and it would be epic if you subscribe my channel. Get it cracking!